Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to another day of semi-finals of Lindores Abbey Rapid Challenge 2020 and of course again we have Magnus Carlsen and uh, Hikaru Nakamura uh, but I would like to show you uh, this time the game between Ding Liren and Daniel Dubov. Uh, yesterday Daniel Dubov won against Ding Liren so Ding Liren is under a huge pressure. Uh, he has to win if he wants to stay in the tournament. Uh, Ding Liren number one uh, player in in China his rapid ranking 2836 he's number three in the world and he's gonna play as white uh, and Daniel Dubov the most creative uh, Russian player at this moment at least everybody says uh, that he's really you know attacking player uh, with a lot of creativity and uh, unusual ideas and I show you a couple of games already so if you haven't seen um, his games during this tournament check over there uh, I point you one of the games where he played g4 uh, in the in the Queen's Gambit declined uh, his rapid ranking 2770 and he's gonna play as black so without further ado let's see what happened on the board so Ding Liren open with c4 we have knight on f6 g3 and now c6 so what we have on the board is called English opening Anglo-Indian defense so it's very similar to uh, to Catalan with the bishop on g2 uh, d5 however uh, the point is after taking on c4 there is no many tricks uh, with you know on that on this diagonal so it's much safer approach for for black and black also have some chances uh, to counter attack what we're gonna see in this game so we have bishop on g2 we have d5 as planned knight on f3 uh, and now d takes on c4 and here we have castle by white uh, knight b on d7 so everything looks uh, you know pretty familiar however look at this knight on a3 attacking c4 looks familiar yes knight b6 now defending uh, so queen on c2 attacking again and now bishop e6 defending and this is still theory you know this is a quite different idea because with the pawn on e6 uh, this move was not possible okay usually we have e6 uh, in Catalan but now uh, in this Anglo-Indian defense it's quite different uh, so very interesting now we have knight on e5 so Ding actually uh, attacks this pawn for the for the third time uh, and here h5 uh, and now what white usually play uh, is of course h4 and the games usually ends in the in the draws after for example queen on d4 defending this pawn again uh, and knight is under attack so knight f3 queen e4 you see queen stays in the center it's pretty crazy stuff a queen d1 and this can be continued but it usually ends in the draw at least in the database there are all the games you know ended in the draws uh, so Ding Liren goes for you know more dynamic um, ideas here we have knight a takes on c4 uh, knight takes on c4 knight takes on c4 and now h4 uh, knight on e5 now by Ding Liren h takes on g3 h takes on g3 and here we reach the position which was already uh, you reach couple of times uh, and usually the most popular move is queen on d4 and after queen on c3 uh, the queen can retreat to d6 can exchange uh, but all the games also ended in the draw so uh, it seems like it's a very very drawish uh, opening uh, however uh, Wesley so tried different approach here and played against Levon Aronian a rook on c8 but after d4 uh, bishop on d5 and e4 he lost really badly um, the game continued like bishop on e4 bishop on e4 queen on d4 attacking both of pieces uh, but then we had knight on f7 king f7 uh, bishop g6 and 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 he lost just soon after so uh, definitely he tried something new and here daniel dubov played some much more logical move queen on c8 moving the the queen on this diagonal and you know looking at h3 together with the bishop very nice butter and, and well-known um, idea in chess 
And now, uh, as the bishop is coming to h3, it's always a good idea to not exchange the, the light square bishop. But the bishop would be x-rayed, so first uh, white have to move the rook. So we have rook on d1 by Ding Liren, bishop on h3 as planned, and now bishop f3. Uh, exchanging the bishops would be very deadly as the queen could jump uh, on h3 and checkmate the, the white king. Uh, so definitely bishop on f3 is much better idea. We have g6. now preparing um, to uh, develop the dark square bishop uh, b4 ding is doing the same we have bishop on g7 bishop on b2 and now king on f8 king on f8 uh, not castling because this rook belongs to the h file it has to stay here and you know and keep an eye and making some threats so uh, here is the idea and king on f8 is a very safe uh, place for the king uh, we have a4 by ding liren we have knight on h7 now uh, preparing knight on g5 and now b5 knight on g5 as planned and here actually i have to tell you that Ding Liren had uh, some issues with the connection and he lost the connection for a couple of minutes and when he came back actually he was uh, down in time I'm not sure in which exact moment it happened uh, but this definitely was the issue as as he didn't have as much time to calculate all the variations um, as he should uh, and here he actually missed something he missed something and he played B takes on C6 uh, and now actually feel free to pause the video and find the winning continuation for black while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? So the move we are looking for and Dubov uh, found it is bishop on e5 eliminating the defender of f3 so the knight cannot go back to to f3 and defend the position so bishop takes on e5 and black actually winning the piece and white has a chance to um to uh, you know avoid the mating net however have to play something like queen on d3 uh, and just play you know down the piece and uh, of course it's losing position so bishop on e5 was played by ding liren knight on f3 e takes on f3 and now bishop on g2 this is the move and in this position ding liren resigned the game as he can do nothing uh queen on h3 is coming and that's gonna be a checkmate so for example this way that's gonna be a checkmate and if he tries uh, to play g4 blocking the queen which makes a lot of sense it still doesn't help uh, because bishop f3 and checkmate is coming anyway uh, bishop h2 yes it blocks that but it doesn't help because queen g4 so uh, this way or another there is always a, a checkmate here uh, king f1 now this is the only move rook h2 and as you see checkmate is coming uh, you can try you, you cannot try anything this is a, just a checkmate so uh, this is why after bishop on g2 ding liren just resigned the game uh, probably he was low on time and he couldn't calculate all of that or maybe just he missed this is the rapid uh, time control so it's easy to miss some some ideas and there is still one question. Could Ding Liren actually save the game uh, and play something else instead of B takes on C6? Uh, actually, he could, uh, but it's not easy, you know, to find that the game could be very, very complicated, uh, but also interesting. Uh, but many ideas would be just blocked. So, for example, a queen on C3. This would be the, the best probably idea. Uh, and now a bishop takes on e5, queen takes on e5 and the queen attacks the rook here. Uh, so after f6, queen on e3 and now you see the queen defends the bishop. So there are no tricks with knight on f3 uh, because after e takes on f3, bishop g2, uh, g4 works. Actually this time g4 could work uh, because as you see, a uh, bishop cannot take on f3. So after bishop on h1, the game could continue from here. And as you see, the position is totally strange here. Can you imagine how to attack this bishop? Probably the king would have to be moved uh, and then try to attack the bishop somehow. But there is also the, the issues that the queen can come and help to attack the, the f3 square. 
okay for example this way so uh, very very complicated position a lot of things cannot happen for example uh, b takes on c6 doesn't make any sense because queen would take um, and attack the the pawn on on f3 it can be defended with the rook but as you see the position is totally totally strange uh, but that was the only chance for Ding Liren uh, in this position to play queen on c3 but as you see uh, he didn't probably he was low on time and he lost the game okay that's all for 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 this game and uh, if you like this video press a like if for some reason you don't like it press unlike and if you don't want to miss any other games from Lindores Abbey Rapid Challenge 2020 Press subscribe, smash the bell button, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.